What am I looking for when I'm buying a new set of irons? The main thing I'm looking for when I'm buying a new set of irons is that the irons go better than my existing irons. Now, better doesn't necessarily mean longer. I'm talking about the ball landing on the green and stopping with more control. I'm talking about the flight being more efficient in terms of how it cuts through the air. We don't want to use a club that takes all the distance away, of course. We want to enjoy ourselves as much as we can, and distance is always fun. But if you get a new set of irons that are stronger lofted, and that makes the ball go further, you could literally just be hitting the same bad shots that you were before with a different number on the club. So watch that you're not just getting better distance, Ideally, I want the balls to go out there and I want them to have a tighter dispersion so they don't spread out as much. When the shaft is a bit too light and a bit too whippy, too soft in flex for a golfer, it can bend and release into the ball. And when you're too fast for that shaft, the bend and release will give you a bigger area of spread. If you get a shaft that suits you better in terms of how it gets into the ball and it matches your swing dynamics through it, you'll see a tighter dispersion. And that's what we're trying to get out of an iron fitting, in my opinion. Ultimately, we really, really want to hit the target as much as we possibly can. You can do things with the clubs like change the lie angles, the angle of this club here, that can affect your direction. But if you use the lie angles to correct your flight, but you can't do that in your woods, you're going to get a corrected flight in the irons, but not in your woods. So then you don't get your whole bag working effectively. The first thing I'll do in a fitting is a static fit. So that's without hitting any golf balls. I'll look at how tall the golfer is and how low their arms are to the floor. So we'll look at the distance from the bottom of my watch strap there to the floor. And you'll look at the distance down there against your height. If I've got short arms, I'm gonna need a different club. If I've got really long arms, I'm gonna need a different club, even though that person's the same height. If we get that right, and the ping fitting chart is my go-to source of information for that factor, because I want to be able to stand up with good posture in the golf swing, and I want to be able to move through the ball. If the club's too short, I'm gonna to have to do things like dip down to the ball and change my height to get good contact. So then I'm having to make faults to make up for the irons. So if you get the irons in the right length, you can have good posture and you can get through the ball a lot easier without having to manipulate what you do. Launch wise for most amateur golfers, the average launch angle on a seven iron on tour is 16.8 degrees. I don't mind players getting around the 20 degree mark, but if you're launching the ball at 28 degrees, then okay, we're doing something in the swing that just flaps the ball up too high and you're, you're hitting your seven iron like a nine iron. So generally speaking, I'm looking for a 20 degree window. The faster the golfer, the lower I need it. The slower the golfer, the higher I need it. Spin rate wise, I'm looking for about 5,500 spin as a rule of thumb. If someone's a bit lower, someone's a bit higher, I've got to consider what they're doing on the golf course. I've got to consider what they need to achieve in terms of their golf, how they're progressing, how they're regressing. If we launch the ball with a seven iron at 3,000 spin, that will make the ball go further and you'll go, oh, I'm hitting the seven iron miles, which is great. However, when that spins low, like 3,000 with a seven iron, you use your six iron, five iron, four iron, and you're not getting enough spin to get the ball airborne. So if you're spinning it at three, three and a half thousand with a seven iron, ignore the top end of the bag, ignore the long irons, you don't need them. Or is there a better alternative in terms of golf clubs that can help you spin it more? And sometimes you can actually just change your golf ball to increase that spin which is a much easier fix. Like if I hit one shot with a Shrixen AD triple three, not too bad. The backspin on that one is 4,700. If I grab a Callaway Chrome Tour X, very different golf ball, different price point, but we're looking at 4,700 with an AD triple three. If I then do the same swing through this, same sort of swing, similar sort of shape, maybe slightly different in distance, so it's not as long, but I've instantly got another thousand spin on top just through changing the golf ball. So you can do little things like that to manipulate the windows you're trying to hit. Hit your irons, hit new irons in a fitting, hit your irons again at the end, just to make sure you're not warmer or colder. And maybe the improved ball flights you're seeing with the new clubs, make sure it's not just because your swing's in better shape. Also, at the end of the day, don't be scared to say, I'm not ready to buy new golf clubs because they're not going better than what I've already got. I want your golf to get better, 
I don't want you to buy things just for the sake of it. Unless it's a particularly nice limited edition set of golf clubs maybe, then yeah, that's just cool. So sometimes in a fitting, we've got things that aren't quite right in the launch angle and spin rate and data that's coming out. And I can make other tweaks like change the golf ball to make it better. Sometimes we're hitting flights that just aren't any good and there's something else that's easier to use. There's something else that's easier to get into the perfect launch windows. Maybe there's something else out there that's easier to use than what you've got, but go and have a go with them. And if you hit your irons just as good as everything else that's new, then you know it's not time to buy new irons just yet. Put your money and your focus into something else maybe lessons. My favorite scenario to sell a set of irons is to sell them because my golfer, the person I've been coaching, has improved their game, they've got better, they've got faster, and we need clubs to suit their new swing. I don't wanna buy the clubs just because the marketing department of whatever brand it is is saying, these are better than what you've already got. I wanna prove it first.